So today we'll be getting into some stories with Carmella breaking character for her thoughts on Liv Morgan. More big rumors for Impact Wrestling's new signings, a returning superstar, and much more. Let's start things off with Carmella and Liv Morgan. We're starting to see a couple of non-title feuds pop up in the women's division. The biggest non-title story for the women right now is obviously Naomi vs. Sonya Deville. That's a big story, and we'll have some big payoff at the end of it. Some fans think it will cost Sonya her WWE official position. Some fans think the bloodline may eventually get involved and help out Naomi. So there's a lot of great speculation and fan ideas around that story. And when this story is looking good and there's a lot to discuss around it, that's always great. So Naomi vs. Sonya is amazing right now because of the direction and discussions. The other non-title feud in the women's division that's slowly on the rise is Carmella vs. Liv Morgan. It was originally Liv vs. Selena, but that sort of fell through and it became Liv vs. Carmella instead. Liv and Carmella ended up meeting at Extreme Rules which saw Liv pick up her first ever singles pay-per-view win. So that was a huge win, but it wasn't over there. Their story continued into the Queen's Crown Tournament. Carmella defeated Liv to advance in the tournament, but Liv Morgan would get her revenge a few days later, where she stole Carmella's protective face mask and cost her the win against Zelina. So that moment right there is some good indication that this Liv Morgan and Carmella feud will most likely carry over to Raw. Both Liv Morgan and Carmella were drafted to Raw, and with Liv Morgan costing her that match, that's what makes it seem like this will continue. Liv and Carmella are great, but what fans seem to be pointing out here is the infinite rematches between them without any real story developing or progressing here. And that could be true. We've seen Carmella vs Liv Morgan several times over the last few weeks from pay-per-views to tournament matches, but it definitely feels like something is missing story-wise. But maybe with them now being on Raw, they'll get some more time to go more in depth. Carmella was recently a guest on the After the Bell podcast and broke character to discuss her feud with Liv Morgan and how she feels about Liv. Carmella had this to say, Liv is a firecracker. She is so incredibly talented. Actually, what I'm really, really proud of is our match at Extreme Rules. We had some time, and that is something that has been a root of frustration lately on SmackDown, because SmackDown is a two-hour show, so we don't get a lot of time to show what we can do. So we finally have this PPV match, and we had, I think, 10 minutes. We had a great match. She won, and I was so happy for her. I think it's her time, and she has been kind of deprived this whole time. So just some high words of praise there from Carmella on Liv Morgan. Carmella thinks it's definitely Liv's time to shine and was happy to see her win at Extreme Rules. A lot of fans have been rooting for Liv Morgan lately. She's never held a WWE title. She's never been in a women's world title match at all. So when you talk about fresh faces in that title picture, a lot of fans turn to Liv Morgan automatically. And Liv Morgan's story has been out there for a long time already, but basically she was always a wrestling fan and would wrestle at home with her siblings. It's something she always wanted to do, and it just happened that someone from the WWE walked into the restaurant she was working at one day, she talked to them, and that's how the ball first started rolling. She is a WWE homegrown talent. She had her very first match in NXT back in 2015 and has been grinding ever since. And like Liv even discussed in an interview from a few weeks ago, she's comparing her career to Becky Lynch's WWE career prior to the man persona. Becky had the fan support, felt like she was right there on the verge of superstardom, and that finally happened after the man persona came into play. So that's what the fans and even Liv Morgan herself are thinking. She's right there on the verge of blowing up, and it could happen at any moment. Hopefully Raw is the place that it happens for Liv Morgan. Like Carmella said, the frustrating part about SmackDown is the shorter show and the lack of time to tell a story for the women's division. The fans even notice how most of the Queen's Crown Tournament matches were all very brief and extremely short. But hopefully things are different on Raw with a long three-hour show. 
that's definitely going to be a lot of extra time, left over every week for sure. So be on the lookout for Liv Morgan and Carmilla's story over on Raw. Impact Wrestling has started to come up more and more in headlines for the big name talents that they are allegedly after. The two confirmed stars that they landed were the Iconics, who are now known as the Inspiration. Cassie Lee and Jessica McKay have signed with Impact Wrestling, so that's a big deal and some more big names for Impact. Cassie and Jessica haven't been seen in the ring since early springtime around their WWE releases, so their fans are going to be very excited to see them in the ring again. So those two are signed and official. The next two big names that they are reportedly working on is Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. It's been news for months now that Impact Wrestling really wanted to sign Bray and Braun very badly. Bray's status is still up in the air. Tony Khan recently said that he had zero talks with Bray. Some don't believe that and think Tony is just covering himself from a legal point of view of tampering. But other reports do claim that Impact Wrestling continues to have the upper hand on Bray over AEW. Braun Strowman is also high on Impact's list. And there was recently a report that really added more fuel to this rumor. PW Insider reports that Strowman was seen in Detroit with Impact Wrestling's Scott Demore during the Motor City Comic Con. The reports claim that they sat and talked with each other for a while during this meetup. Obviously, no one knows the exact context of the conversation, but considering this is a high up individual from Impact Wrestling, that alone led to speculation on this meeting possibly being about Strowman coming to Impact Wrestling. Things are definitely getting interesting here. If Impact continues to go through with this, and they actually land both Bray and Braun, or even just one of the two, it would be a pretty big deal. So we'll have to keep an eye out to see what happens here for these two possible big signings for Impact Wrestling. Lacey Evans was last seen in WWE earlier this year before announcing her pregnancy on live TV. Lacey just gave birth to her second child a handful of weeks ago, but is already expressing her desire to return to the WWE. She had this to say on Twitter. It was fun, but baby is crying, milk is dripping, and a lady's gotta get back to work. I just don't run my mouth unless I can back it up. As of yesterday, I can now back it up. Nine months of watching them run their mouth is over. So that's one WWE return to be on the lookout for. Lacey is technically a WWE free agent, so she'll be free to pop up at any brand when the time of her return arrives. But what are your thoughts on today's stories with Liv Morgan, Impact Wrestling, and Lacey Evans? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.